Hello everyone and welcome back to Fail Project Games. We're starting up a new one! <laughs> Life is strange. I actually got this around the time that I started to record and upload The Walking Dead Season 1. I bought it at the same time as that game and I meant to play it during October and I just completely forgot about it, never got around to it. So here we are in December, <laughs> starting. <laughs> Speaking of which, next month, New Year, we're finishing Until Dawn. Wyatt, you're not getting why away I try from to, this. Why didn't I try to finish it during the uh, New Year's livestream? Yeah, okay. Cat said she wanted to play a scary game anyway. I was thinking of Isolation because I'm nowhere near done that game and I really need to work on that game. I think it would be interesting to have me actually play a... Uh, a actually play a game for once? <laughs> during the live stream. I've played games on the channel before. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> yeah! All for One is like the only game you've routinely played on our channel. And aside from Resident Evil. <laughs> um, but I, I, six mainly. Be and even with All for One, you were not there for most of it. Yeah. But I, I, I a couple times during uh, uh, I can't even remember the name. It's the one we just talked about getting a second game. The Last of Us. Yeah, The Last of Us. Why couldn't I remember that name? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah. I, I you did. played a little bit on yeah, that. Yeah, I did play a little bit. Poorly. Yeah. <laughs> I will not deny that. Cell shading is real. Where am I? Then again, it, it's Square Enix. What do you expect? Yeah. It's cell shaded to the fucking moon and back. I'm trapped. He's the guy to make Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. And where is here? Honestly, I could see her being a Final Fantasy character. I kind of can too. Now that you say Wait, it. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can yeah, for as little as I know about Final I Fantasy, I can picture someone who can it. rewind time with a camera. No, I mean just her look. Her, well, I can see that too. But I'm talking... Uh, of course, you need a little bit longer hair to be a Final Fantasy character. Yeah, and it would have to be like Japanese pop band style. No, no. Lately, they're all doing like all black. Like Final Fantasy XV, all their char the main characters wear only black and they all have black hair. Like... Yeah, I don't it, it's styled like a Japanese pop band. Like crazy shit everywhere. Not really. The craziest thing about them is like their swords and their the abilities that they can have with the swords. Okay, don't you try to tell me Lightning's hair is really pretty crazy. That's not Final Fantasy 15. I'm not talking about specifically 15. I, I was. Oh. Well, anyway, I can picture someone with an ability like that being a Final Fantasy character. Yeah. That is so lazy, I'm sorry. Yeah. But it works for the, um, style of the game. Okay. No, I, I went on past it, it doesn't count. No. fuck you. Uh, that was so surreal. She doesn't have black hair. <laughs> Film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. Oh, I remember this. I'm she has okay. a huge crush on this teacher. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a, From color like, turn the to cure a little bit. Now, little can you give me an example of a photo? There's an echo. It's on your head. Capture the human condition in I black. I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. That's good. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I actually think it's a pretty aesthetically pleasing shot. Personally. Yeah. It's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner photography. and capture you in a moment of desperation. Basics, like, the, and uh, any one of you could do I take that a selfie? to me. Isn't that but first, easy? let me take a selfie. Too obvious? I kind of want to take a selfie. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? <laughs> I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. 
your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I like this guy. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <coughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp I actually legit style did like the know that at one point when I took photography with a brewer, and I just couldn't remember. Very no, good, I never Victoria. learned that. The Daguerreian process brought out fine no. detail in people's there you go. faces, but I making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Class the first American Shut the fuck up with your Eagle Scout bullshit! <laughs> I never actually got a photography I thing. can't believe I still have these <laughs> pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like... And guys, don't forget the deadline to oh, submit a photo in like the Everyday oh, Heroes right. contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be it's fetid the, by the yeah, art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. What is up with her eyes? Is it me, or do like, the whites of her eyes look green? Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that. This girl, I remember her being really annoying. Ass. I don't remember her at all. I remember thinking she was really annoying. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Ugh. <laughs> you seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a <laughs> Her eyes aren't even green. Life. Yeah, not here. Thanks. They were. Uh, they were. I have to go. Maybe it's just the lighting. No worries. In the game. Let's hang Perhaps. Out. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. What were you about to say? I, I was gonna say the girls in this school use way too much eyeshadow. <laughs> even the fucking computer generated ones. No, that one that one was fine. That didn't have any eyeshadow. Just look at her butt. Every time I look at Victoria, That's not I feel very like much she's talking at. smack about right? me. That's why you stare at it. You just give it attention. It'll Embarrass grow. her. It'll grow. No it won't. <laughs> just if she gets fat it will. Mm, you're worthless <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah blah blah, right? But you do have a gift. Best lecture you ever. Have the fever to take this images. Is, uh, yeah. to I knew I liked this guy for a reason. <laughs> now, all you need I would love is the to have this guy to share your gift I, with others. Would have loved to have him as like That's a high school teacher or a college yeah. professor. Right. Yeah. So can I like Turn it in then. This is ridiculous. No, you didn't. I always get Apparently, so you don't shy and have... nervous around Well, Mr. you do Jefferson. have one, but you don't. Uh, she doesn't like it, so you're. She's not going to turn it in. <laughs> What's the point of choice? Exactly. I think that's the point of this game, actually. It's like you didn't tell me how hmm. cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. Was that girl talking about sending dates to that guy? I... There? <clears throat> not sure. I heard her bitching that, uh... I heard her saying that if he does something, make sure she might send him like a special picture. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. It was like she's, as she was walking her, down the street. I'm sorry, her thighs are she's thin so as shit. shit. She's got like toothpicks for legs. This main girl? Yeah. Yeah. Like her, oh. like we we made fun of what's her face's ass, but her ass. <clears throat> I'm sorry, she's she's cute. 
She is cute. Mm. The hair is offsetting, but and the eyes. I, I think I like blue eyes. So no, I'm talking about like around her eyes. What the fuck, dude? Asshole, fucking piece of shit. Something Evan tells me that that's not eyeshadow me. around her eyes. His photos are very cool. Although, to be fair, they're... American Did you see... What, this? Get that girl. What about her? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I want to hear. Those are too big to be on a high school girl. I, I think. Breasts? Uh, you know what they did look? They looked further from a distance. It looked further from a distance. Uh, I wonder big. why. <laughs> they look bigger from a distance is what I meant to say. I mean, fucking, there's no way to discern what a particular woman's, no matter what age they are, breasts should be as a size. I know. I know. It looks like she's been But still. They don't look real. Okay, that I can agree to. They, they look prosthetic. Yeah. They especially look, based on how they don't look fake. Especially based on how flat the rest of the girls in the school are. Right? Like comparison. Well, at least I'm, he, I'm sorry, but girls with breasts, even that big, don't have asses that flat. Um, usually. Yeah, usually. Okay, where the hell's that? Oh, I think it's like off to one of these sides. That's the main entrance. So it's. There. Now that's the men's room. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Remember when that was our thing? Empty. Good. I mean, it's nobody can never slim. stop being our thing. We just haven't Except done it in a while. Right? I can't do it. My mouth is too dry. Illuminati! Now, who would bother to write that crap? Uh, Is... someone who doesn't like Rachel. Are we Rachel? No, we're Max. Right. Okay. Me, honestly. Just, just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have, you have a gift. Yeah, but that's not a very good picture from a photography standpoint. The framing is wrong. It doesn't follow the rule of thirds very well. Yeah. Window I almost forgot closes, about that. A window opens. It was funny because I mentioned that today at work because Something um, like that. I got a customer whose total was fourteen dollars. Okay. Girl, then Dylan got a customer whose total was fourteen dollars. Then my day. next customer's total was fourteen dollars. Weird. But yeah, no. <laughs> Framing and the rule of thirds are like the only things I remember from that photography merit <laughs> badge class. Uh, what? Wrong room, buddy. It's cool, it's cool Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay. Oh, Just... I remember this. Yeah, part. I remember this part too. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I'm sorry, but the voice acting there is... Oh. Yeah, it, it, it was. Whoa. Either that or maybe it was what just the like the fuck? lack of music. How? How can know. that be? Because normally those I things have like... In the bathroom. And, uh, and he shot that poor girl. I held 
put my hand, and then I was back here. Likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Guess I don't take us off. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Shit. Can you give me an example of a photographer? Damn, I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay. okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why harvest? I did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Oh, okay. So she if he it wants again, me to take the I'll selfie again. For real. Okay. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful I wonder how long that would go tradition. on if you right. didn't take a <laughs> selfie. I, I actually am curious. I might do that on a second later or something. I might play through it again just long enough. <laughs> so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I see her eyes are green now? Yeah, it's, no, it's it's the shadowing. And yeah, first. I need to go to the bathroom. It's not the eye shadow. It's just the lighting. Now, Max. Yeah, that's since my you've early. captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. I was actually hoping for an option to like answer the question. Yeah, right? Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Oh now you get to. Making them yeah. Think that's good? Yeah. I just don't know how to stop. Oh yeah, I guess you gotta go back all the way? I guess. Now Max, okay. since you've captured I our interest fucking, in I guess, I don't conversation, know. can you please tell us yeah, the name of the like process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre. Yeah, they're, they're really gray green now. Has been reading yeah. as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Actually, I don't think our character had the crush on this year. I think it was the blonde chick who answered the question. No, she said oh, she gets shy and nervous around reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far away. Yeah, that just ahead of might mean that she. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo really in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure I, and Kickstarter career. I'm barely certain Stella. that the blonde Melissa, hair chick. Get it together. Definitely I'm, has a crush on I don't think she has a crush. I think she finds yes, him attractive. And look at the way she's walking right in front of him. She does not have a crush on him. That's someone who wants to seduce him just to get with him and be late. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yeah, Let's, that's what it, I meant. It's I always the awkward. Yeah, it's always the awkward girl. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until oh, we talk about your intro. It's always the awkward girl who has the crush on the attractive teacher. You know, yeah. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Yeah, exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't think you need to. Yeah, well, it made me. You couldn't just walk out the door? 
Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. This week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm, Laney's gone live. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I like how there's like obvious layers to like the hair, and then there's the facial hair. It's just like one big smear of shit across his face. <laughs> All right, so please, please, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I mean, it's not like punch the guy. So I mean, like they don't have a punch button. <laughs> Where's the okay, squirrel guys, button? Every <laughs> we need a hug button, damn it. <laughs> I washed my face. Dude, it was so fucking funny. I Mike and Michael were calling, like, then, uh, Naruto's, um, Beast Mode when he, like, sings the Kurama, like, a fucking photo. squirrel or shit <laughs> on, during the stream. <laughs> Mike was like, Leave how do I turn into a giant squirrel? Michael goes, <laughs> yeah, where the fuck's the squirrel button? No, it looks like a squirrel. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on, Come on put that ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. There you go. To control me. I need a hammer to break it open. For this than uh, seriously, Nobody just grab the broomstick and smash it in. Would they? If they've got away from me, psycho! Too late. Mm. Guess would they? If they've got away from me, psycho! Gotta rewind all the way. Don't, don't ever tell me what Quick, to no, do. Quick, no, I'm so sick of people Max, trying you're going to get me. hurt. Damn. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than Hey, quick, quick, quick! Nobody Move the card! Okay, that works. Don't, don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so uh, trying to control me! Wait, you didn't think the hammer was hella there? I didn't okay. see it before. Nobody would ever even it 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 zoomed in on it. I... <clears throat> no way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Where does gun go? Fell out of his hand? Another shitty yeah. day. I should pick those up if possible. That did not happen. That could avoid something this in the future, I guarantee real. it. I just saw her I don't think you had shot an and then saved her. Fuck. What the fuck is going on? You do not freak out. That no, I think this is an appropriate moment to yeah, freak out. Yeah, seriously. Like hey, freak the do fuck you hear out. The fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped that me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Ooh. Right? He just annihilated him. I like this principal. <laughs> right? It's like Principal Lewis Ooh, from fucking Ned's Declassified. Are you okay? I'm, what, what, I'm whatever his name just, was. I know who you're talking about. I don't think his name was Lewis. Sweating no. Pinballs. Is that just all you're thinking good. about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or the the flaps. <laughs> the flaps are so <laughs> bad. Well, Max, Do we get an opportunity to talk to me? Tap. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Hey, why are you defending Mr. yourself, Mr. Prescott girl? happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. That's why. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. 
Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the you press can got family to change the outcome now. Do we Should want I? to? See, that I, I want to make a choice now about whether or not we do that. I want, I want that to be how we end this video with that commitment. Because... I didn't play The Walking Dead like that. Like, I had a choice. Well, I actually did this. Um, This is a little peek behind the curtains here at Fail Project Gamers. Um, I almost called them Fablers for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, when I finished episode three of the second season of The Walking Dead, where Clementine has the choice to either cut off Sarita's arm when she's being bitten by a walker or to kill the walker instead... Um, I cut off her arm, and then as I was playing episode 4, I saw Kenny's reaction. I was like, oh shit, I don't like this. So, not to change anything, but to go back and see how else that might have ended up, I went back and I killed the walker instead. Now, in the end result, everything was the same. Um... Especially since I didn't bring her with me even when I killed the walker. So I ended up going back again fixing that so that I had the same choices again for episode 4 to start up with and then playing through the rest of the game like that. So here's where we need to make this choice, you and me Wyatt. We need to decide whether or not we're going to allow Our rewinds. I'm not against it, but I don't know if I want to. Especially because it, 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 it's a mechanic they've given you. Personally, what I would do if I didn't like my original choice is I would go back, I would see what these uh, other options were, and then I'd pick what outcome I'd like best based on the immediate consequences immediate consequences okay um not see not waiting to see what happens later on yeah down the no road. but like what about taking into consideration what might happen well i make predictions based on what the immediate consequences yeah. were yeah so like obvious so like with this like what do you see happening a, now there's a chance that Nathan Prescott comes back. And comes after us. Yeah, and comes after That's us. That's what I'm saying. Whereas if we hide the truth... There's a chance that he could hurt someone. Right. So it's really a matter of... where he Actually, where he could go after Chloe. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought you meant, but... Hmm. Chloe becomes Max's lesbian lover. Or... We die. Well, I mean, we're talking about real life. I don't dislike either of those options. <laughs> what do you think we should do right now? Uh, you see, I don't... I didn't really like the way the principal was saying he'd look into it. So what I would do is I would have gone back and see what he said based on the other option we had. And then I feel I pick whichever one I felt had the best possible outcome. All right, so we're gonna do that at the beginning of the next video, guys, and then we will make our decision whether or not we will persist with rewinds based on what happens there. And if we don't like the reaction, or if I personally just don't like the reaction, then I will make an executive decision to go back to the reporting him. Wait, what if we could only rewind one time with things like that? I did just think of that. Yeah. Uh, then I guess we're stuck with our decision. Or we, could, if we haven't really gotten that far in the game, we could just restart. We could. 
All right, we'll, we'll think this over a little more next time, guys. Later.